Did you know that it's Mare's birthday? Yeah. She's like 22 or something. And did you know that I, being the great husband, planned an overnight trip for both of us um, in San Antonio. We came down to San Antonio. We're going to stay at a nice place. But before that, we went and uh, we got lunch at this place in San Antonio at the Rim. Um, so we ate lunch. And then did you know that while we were eating lunch, someone broke into my truck and stole all my stuff? Yeah, check this out. All right, look, look. Locked, right? You hear it honking? Locked. You notice uh, that looks a little off kilter. It's definitely locked, right? But, but then, oh, it doesn't lock anymore. While we were eating lunch, someone came and jabbed a screwdriver in the keyhole, unlocked my truck, took my computer bag, which has everything I do everything on, took everything in my computer bag. Also my clothes bag. I, we, I had an overnight bag with my clothes and my toothbrush and stuff. <laughs> That's gone. They left Mayor's suitcase. They're like, suitcase. Maybe you should put your stuff in a gold suitcase. Yeah, there's a gold suitcase. And they're like, that probably doesn't have yeah, anything expensive in it. Girly. Let's grab those two backpacks and roll. I bet they were in my truck for like three seconds. Uh, yeah, so anyway, we just went to Best Buy. I bought a new computer because I have to have a computer to do all the stuff I do. And I need to go change all my passwords now because, yeah, that's just in case they're hackers they're probably not they're probably just throwing it in a pawn shop uh and then we went to dick sporting goods to buy uh freaking clothes for me and underwear and socks can i borrow your toothbrush no <sighs> are you having a nice relaxing birthday vacation it's been great you know what we left the house and it was pouring rain and we're like we're just gonna go make the best of it and we had lunch and it was awesome we drank margaritas we did it was fun it was great while we and were having we margaritas all the way to the hotel while we, were having, conversation. while we were having margaritas some guy was violating <laughs> my truck we got all the way to the hotel and turned around to we really didn't realize the yeah. car and matt was like did you put the seat up no all yeah right. i turned around i was like our bags are gone she's like Where'd you put them? Are they in the bed? I was like, no, I put it in the back seat. And I said, did you put the back seat up? Because they had picked that seat up. I thought up. mine was gone too. They had picked that back seat up looking for stuff. Mine was like and behind me. I couldn't see it. Luckily, I don't have anything in this truck. Like anything pew pew because I had it with me. Anyway, happy birthday, Mary. People Mer. are great. Yeah. Just when you... Most people are great. It is true. Like people are mm -hmm. good. Mostly. And then some people just do some dumb stuff and... Anyway, uh, my truck, yeah, I got broken into today and they took my freaking laptop and my underwear. <laughs> okay, we are at the hotel. Locked up tight. Stupid vandals. on the new computer resetting passwords and getting logged in and don't worry demolition ranch is safe guys and now i put on my new swimsuit and new sandals they're great you know and now we get to go hang out and do fun what stuff swimsuit did you have in your other bag my new custom demolition ranch one that the world hasn't even seen yet i was about to say was it that or was it your link after i had that one too but i was gonna wear my awesome demo ranch one which you guys don't get to see now you get to see this boring one we made it to a hot tub and we have it all to ourselves and it's giant which is pretty cool so all in all uh broke my door lock lost my laptop broke broke my camera poured rain all day on mayor's birthday trip but all in all pretty good day 
not mad about it. It's the next day. So check this out. I did a little more investigating, right? So there's that thing. If you open this up, you can see the paint scratch there and then that tumbler is scratched as well. And that little bezel is, I think, bent a little bit versus this one back here. So I think what they do is just stick a little crowbar or screwdriver or something in there and then they pop that little that little thing out and then it unlocks your truck so now i can't lock my truck at all but my handle still works normally so what's interesting is this was not a isolated event apparently this happens often in ford trucks exhibit a this ford raptor not mine it's a friend's, but check this out. The exact same handle as my F-350. His has been out like this, but also his is, you can't tell because it's dirty, but his has a big scratch in the paint right there. And his lock cylinder is popped out as well. It looks like they may have gone under there on his, but same deal, still works fine. Just actually you could still get a key in his. So maybe a little different, but either way, this is the weak spot on Ford trucks. The part that stinks the most about this is that person is going to be able to sell my three-year-old laptop for like 200 bucks at a pawn shop. Like that's it. There's no way they're gonna get anything more than like 200 bucks. That, that laptop's several years old, three years old. It's not anything special. It's gonna be worth 200 bucks. But to me, I had to go buy a new like $1,100 laptop I had to go buy a new backpack, a, lap, a laptop bag to put it in. I went and bought a new mouse. I bought a new a card reader. And then I had to go buy new clothes, new shirt, underwear, socks, deodorant. And then I had to spend like a couple hours while we were supposed to be like enjoying Mayor's birthday at a nice place for the night. I had to spend a couple hours getting online, changing all my passwords to make sure that they didn't mess with anything. And then I still have a broken freaking door on my truck that I got to go take into the Ford dealership and get fixed. Whoever knows how much that's going to cost. Like it probably set me back a few hours of time and man, probably, I don't know what this is going to cost. $2,000. We'll say it set me back $2,000, two hours of time. Well, plus if I have to spend time fixing this, but I, I probably, probably won't be too bad, but I might be out of my truck for a couple days. Let's say two hours of time, $2,000, so that some jerk could make 200 bucks by hawking my laptop at a pawn shop. Is it worth it, man? Come on. Like, I'm, to I'm definitely a proponent of people are good. Most people are good. And then something like this happens, and you're just like, Ugh, why would you do that? He broke my truck, stole my laptop, Worst thing ever. And we're out at Demo HQ right now. Look at this freaking beautiful river we have. Look at all this water. So it hasn't rained here in a day. Just freaking flowing though. So cool. Excellent. So we got that going for us. It's a good day. Two things. One, sorry for cell phone video. I recorded the whole thing besides this on my cell phone because I I broke this camera. Have another camera now, good to go. Second thing, we got a new intro made for Demolition Ranch, but it's just the old intro remastered. It's pretty cool. So first let me play the old intro that you've seen a million times. Now for the remaster. Let me know what you think. I think we're gonna start using that one uh, starting on our 10 million subscriber video on Demolition Ranch. We did it, boys. 10 million. I don't wanna to talk too much about it right now because like, that's gonna be for the Demo Ranch video, but appreciate you guys. Y'all are awesome. Thanks for watching this episode of Off The Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Mare.